There are numerous advanced features and options you can tweak in order to get the very most out of your ads, and these can make a big difference to your campaigns and your profits. For example, there's negative keywords. Now, negative keywords allow you to add keywords that you want to ensure don't bring up your ads. Now, normally Bing and Google will show your ads based on very similar keywords, though Google does this more than Bing, meaning that if your keyword is fitness books, you might find your ads showing up on free fitness books. The only problem? Well, someone searching for a free fitness book probably doesn't want to pay $20 for a fitness book. So in this case, it would be pertinent to make free a negative keyword so that people looking for free things are excluded from your campaign. Then there are dynamic keywords. And dynamic keyword insertion allows you to automatically insert your keywords into your ad's title or text. This means that, for example, you could make it so people find whatever product they search for for sale or if they search hats, then you might show them buy hats online. Another neat feature of Bing is the ability to add ad extensions. This will allow you to add things like links to your site, locations on a map, or a click to call button. An ad extension means that, for example, you could get your customers to call you right from the Bing search results on their mobile. The site link is used to link people into deeper pages of your site, such as specific item listings in your store, for example. Targeting allows you to specifically target the type of person you want for your ads even more. By clicking Advanced Targeting Options, you'll be given the option to select your viewers by their genders and ages, that's based on their Microsoft accounts, by the device that they're on, perhaps if you're selling an app, you might want to target mobile devices, for example, and by schedule. Schedule is important because it means you can avoid wasting money showing ads at 3 a.m. in your local area. It also means you can get even sneakier and, for example, show ads only later in the evening. As it gets later and we become tireder, we actually become more impulsive and thus more likely to click buy on an advert. You can use Bing ads to set up goals and then see how customers are interacting with those goals. You may recall that we discussed goals in an earlier video in the context of Google Analytics. We also discussed how you could use these to identify the best keywords for your ad campaigns. Well, once you have your ad campaign set up, you can actually integrate your ads directly with your goals. This is a much more valuable metric than simply your average CTR, you know, your click-through rates, although that is still a useful measure. To set up goals, go to your campaigns and then click Shared Library and then Conversion Tracking you'll need to get a UET tag. Now, this is a small piece of code that you'll put on your website to link it to your Bing ads. Just click here, get started on the page here where you uh, create your UET tag and follow the on-screen instructions. It's all uh, fairly straightforward. Then click conversion goals from the left-hand menu and then click here where it says create conversion goal and once again follow the on-screen instructions. Once you've done this, you'll be able to see how your ads are performing in terms of helping you to get the results you're looking for, i.e. sales. This in turn will allow you to see which ads you should be spending more or less on and whether or not you're actually getting ROI from them. This will eventually allow you to calculate a specific CPA or cost per action, which means you're finding out more precisely how much it's costing you to make sales or get subscribers. You'll also be able to do a lot more tracking for your ads and looking around the dashboard will help you to find all kinds of useful options. For example, you'll be able to find your quality score for your ads by looking on the campaigns page. This gives you a score from 0 to 10 that will show how your ad is performing. You'll learn how high your CTR is compared with other CTRs for similar campaigns targeting the same traffic. 
Anything about seven is considered very competitive. Six is competitive and anything below is underperforming. If you have a blank dash where your score should be, it means Bing doesn't have enough information yet. Based on the success of your ads, you can then head over to Bid Adjustments, which does exactly what it says on the tin, and allows you to tweak your ads so that you're paying more or less per click. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.